Hello, Captains. Your host, Brent Justice here. Welcome to my gaming channel, channel Justice Gaming. I am in Star Trek Online, and I've got many updates to make and many new things to play and many new videos to make, but one of those that I'm making right now is to show you what is new in Vault Ensnared, which just came out recently. A new update to this TFO. Vault Ensnared is not new to the game. It's been here for a while. It's a TFO I don't normally play. I have played it a long time ago in the past. And uh, since this new update, I have played it once to see what's new about it. Um, so let's play it now and see what's new about it. Uh, I'm reading from the webpage here. It says, when you arrive to assist the vault, you'll now find that the various Reman ships defending it are ensnared in webs. Fighting off the Tholians, destroy the, destroy the webs, free the Reman ships, and you'll earn bonuses. Plus, if you free all of the ships quickly, you'll automatically advance to the next stage of the TFO, no more waiting. Once the Tholian Vault Weavers arrive to ensnare the vault, they'll take a tighter formation and they will travel in groups. This means you'll spend less time flying from one side of the vault to the other and more hunting down Tholian ships. You'll need to be quick about it because if you don't manage to stop the vault from being ensnared, Obisek will trigger a Thaleron Cascade that will destroy the webs but will also do serious damage to your ships. Finally, when you enter the Micro Nebula to find the Tholian flagship, you'll see UI elements on the map to show you where to go, and your mission tracker will show the name of the additional Dreadnought. Defeat the flagship and the additional Dreadnought quickly for bonus rewards, or focus on just destroying the flagship and its escorts to finish the mission. You'll have to fight them in the Micro Nebula, though, so remember what you learned from Star Trek II The Wrath of Khan. Tactical view will be inoperative and shields will be useless. To go along with these changes, we've also increased the number of marks rewarded by both TFOs. So the number of marks have been increased with these TFOs. That is useful. Now, like I said, I played this once before you watching it here in this video. And I can say that the beginning part where you have to take out the uh, Tholian groups, they you need, to, you need to split up and do that because you have a limited time time is running out to do that um, and if you all group up as one and just focus on one at a time you will run out of time so split up if you see everybody go into one group you go to a different group and take care of it because you need to in order to get it done in time now the first time I played it we succeeded in doing that hopefully this time we'll succeed again because I'm gonna pug it as you see here and I am hoping that it works, <laughs> that we get the first optional, taking out all the Tholians. Like I said, you got to do it quickly. Then after that, you just go around and defeat the groups of Tholians, and hopefully they don't ensnare the whole thing. Uh, we did succeed in our run when I did it the first time, pugging it here with the new updates. So I wish I had recorded it, because it was actually a really good run. And of course, with a pug, you never know what you're going to get. So I just hope that it works. That's all I can do. But as I sit here waiting, I will just sit here and wait. I'll make a cut in the video so that you don't have to wait. Okay, everybody, we have loaded in. Forces are defending the new colony world. Not going to go through all that, but we've loaded in. You got about 40 seconds, 45 seconds to get yourself ready. Now, what's going to happen here is. Um, the groups are going to go around the station, so it doesn't matter if you go left or right, you're going to end up circling all the way around. But yeah, I suggest y'all split off, like two people go to the left, two people go to the right, the third person go to somewhere else, or the fifth person go somewhere else. Um, so look around and see what everybody's doing and do something different so you can help the whole group. Because they might not know that, it might be their first time playing it. So I'm going to go to the left. I usually like starting off going to the left. I don't know why. But I'm just going to dive right in because I know what I'm doing now. So boom, I'm going over to this one. So we got to get through all that. That is going to be fun. Your 
too damaged to continue this fight, but you have given us a chance to withdraw. And yes, I do see somebody on the other side, but what, only one person? Oh good, this person is over here already, so. So some people did split up. That's a good thing. You want that. You need that. Because uh, you can see that we only have four minutes left right now. And you have to destroy all the Tholian ships and the web to um, uh, free the ship. You have given us a fighting chance. This will not be forgotten. 350 left. We're making good progress here. 4 of 10, though. You see, you got 10 total to save. So that's quite a lot in a short amount of time. A very short amount of time. We may not make it, to be honest. Gotta hurry up and get to the next one. We got six of ten. Well, we might make it. Come on, come on, come on. Go, go, go. Gotta quickly get to the next one. Go, go, go. But as you can see, we're circling the whole thing. So I got three near me. I'm, I'm the one, really. I should, I should go somewhere else. But we are doing pretty good working together. Oh crap. Stuck. You are too damaged to continue this fight, but you have given okay. us a chance to withdraw. Well, he's free anyway. Let's move on. On and on and on and on and on. Since they're gonna go to that one next, most likely, and we only have two and a half minutes, I'm gonna go to this other one over here. Cause they will most likely go there. So see, I'm gonna be the one that splits up and goes over here so we can get more done quicker. That's the kind of thing you need to do and look out for. Warning. Ship is under attack. Target shields have failed. Ah, I'm scared. Ah, I'm out. <laughs> That's why I love that ability. And get out of Tholian traps really easy. I do not Good. See, fight, I got him. I got him. No Good luck. And they got that one. Excellent. And we're done. I, thought. The I, don't, I didn't see how much time we had left. I'll have to look back and see how close we came to that. But you can see how that can, you can lose that optional very easily with the time that runs out so quickly on you. Hey, but we made it. So yay. Hooray. So now let's uh, wait for the weavers. Basically, we just take out as many as we can, as quickly as we can. Where are you? You're way down there. Let's just take them all out. Warning. Ship is under attack. They're not hard to take out. They're very easy to blow up. Target shields have failed. There's just that, a lot of them. And they constantly come at you, and you got about six and a half minutes to deal with it. So just keep taking out as many as you can. And uh, yeah. Don't forget to fly up and down because they, they're at the top and they're at the bottom. Excellent. Try to get the ones that are closer to the station because they're already working on the web webbing. The Tholian bulk web is 20% complete. Uh-oh, 20% complete already. See, like the ones out there, they're not working on it yet. So get the ones that are like here, you know, close to it. Actually, they're pretty far away. <laughs> Let's get this one. Now we'll go over here. Come on, faster, faster. Fire.
Very good. Since that person's going over there, and that person's there, I need to go elsewhere. I'll Ship is under go attack. here. So look to see where your teammates are at, and if they're in an area that you're at, try to go to a different area. Because they're already, they've already got that area covered. Warning. Ship is under attack. Target shields have failed. Oh, there he is again. Some people just circle the thing too, I guess, so. But yeah, don't forget the ones down here and on top, they're all over. 415 left. Come on, ship, fly faster. Warning. Ship is under attack. That really is the worst part, is having to fly around. So much. Got him. I guess you could just stay in one spot. I'm not sure how effective that would be. You could though. Web is 40% complete. 40% complete. Come on, guys. Here's a big group. Let's get them. Target shields have failed. Well, it's actually two groups. that one there by himself. Let's get him. Warning. Ship is under attack. Target shields have failed. Let's get this group up here. taken care of. Ooh, two minutes left. We're not halfway there, so we're good. But it is getting built pretty fast. Where did they go? Oh, look, they're behind me. And there's some down there. Okay, they're gone. Let's go down here and get this group. I know it's pretty far down there, but I want to get them. Oh, there was already somebody down there. Okay. Let's get these over here. And then that one up there. Got a minute left. I think we're going to make it. We are definitely going to make it. Warning. Ship is under attack. Target shields have failed. And then this group up here. I got them from below. Got him from below. 30 seconds left. We're definitely going to make this. So that means we will have completed both all the optionals and uh, the main the main course. Ship is under attack. The Tholian vault web is 60% complete. Ooh, it's 60% now, but we've 
eight seconds. Yeah, I think we got this in the bag, so we're good. That's going to be the end here in two, one, zero. The Tholian web is collapsing. Excellent. The vault is secure, but we are not. Oh, yeah. Got to take out the big bad guys. Approaching at high warp. Prepare for battle. I completely Defeat forgot the about flagship if you can. The, uh, the ending part here, and I'm in a bad position because I'm like, let's fly over it instead of around it so we can get there faster. I was way far away, but yes, you, we need to fight the, the uh, tarantulas out here. So we got the Takir. That is, I guess, the main course. That's the, uh, the big bad, but this is like the optional, the Tholian tarantula here. So we got two people that are going out there for the Takir. Since we've only got one person taking this one, I want to get all the, I want to get all the objectives. So I'm going to help this guy over here. The Tholian flank should be defeated. Extra no, attack. I want to take, I want all the optionals. <laughs> oh, I guess it allows you to do that. Okay, so even if you take the uh, flagship out, you can, you still have a chance to defeat the other one. Okay, good, 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 good. I'm glad. Okay, let's see how many marks we get. We got all the optionals. Both battle groups. And uh, everything. Where's the little... Uh, where's the um, thing where it tells you how many marks you got? There's no, there's no guy coming up. Did I bypass it by accident? I might have. Well, I got 125 marks. So, I must have done good. But I wanted to see, what I wanted to see was how many marks we got total on this. Uh, well, let's see if we can go back and find out. Uh, I don't know. I hate not knowing. Wanted to know what our total marks were for this. And I don't know. Well, I do know. I got. Okay, so one was 70 and one was 55. So I think probably the 70 is probably from the mission itself. Since uh, Vault Ensnared was that high, I'm going to say that the 70 is from the Vault Ensnared. So that's probably our total marks we got as a team doing this run. That's my gut feeling on that. So yeah, that's pretty good then. So you can get probably right up there with the same as Azure Nebula. Um, that would make sense because they said they upped the marks you get with it. So that would make sense. So pretty good amount of marks. Um, you can definitely, um, you know, grind this. And with the date, with the bonus, you get 55 or I got 55. So, all right. So that's cool. That's 125 total. Okay. Very good. So that's the vault ensnared. As you can see, there's really no visual changes to it. And again, this was their a chance to really update the visuals in there if they really wanted to. They had the opportunity, but they did not in this one. I wish they had. But um, otherwise, I like the idea of taking out the groups before the vault gets ensnared. That's fun, but you gotta be very quick about it. If you've got a slow ship, you may not make it in time. So that's something to keep in mind. And if you got people that all group up in one area, then you're not gonna make it in time. You need to spread out. So that's fun. And then in uh, the actual taking out the uh, ships, the orb weavers and all that, that's not too bad. Um, the grouping is better now. However, they are very easy to take out and the, there is still a great distance between the groups. That's the part I don't like, is once you take out a group, you still have to fly quite a distance to get to another group. So that, in my opinion, could be shortened a little, because if you've got a slow ship, again, going to be hard to get from group to group uh, in the actual orb weaving part of it. But 
otherwise I guess you could try to stay in one area don't know how effective that would be I flew all around the thing my ship though moves fast so I'm able to do that and I've got some fast moving abilities that allow me to do that and I got that teleport thing which is just so useful when you get ensnared by a by a Tholian web uh, you can jump out of it with that and I love that on this character I have that I don't have that on all my characters or all my ships but on this one ship I do have that ability and it's really nice it's called a trajector jump I think um, it's really nice anyways that is the new vault ensnared updates in Star Trek online I hope you all enjoyed that and if you like playing that go in and make that part of your activities um, thank you all for watching this video. If you like what you see here, consider subscribing and leaving a like below. And thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next one.